Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to check out Country Junction, which is known as the world's largest general store. Previously, I uploaded the fall and Halloween decor that is available at this store, but today we're gonna to check out Christmas and the holiday season. I was even more impressed with what this store had to offer this time around, and I think you guys will too. If you haven't done so yet, please comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell. There is a lot more fun fall, Halloween, and Christmas stuff coming to our channel. I thought this was a great place to start because it was full of Santa Claus. Yes, tons of ho-ho-hos going on in these shelves, from small to large, from plushies to ceramic and everything and anything in between. I do try to showcase some of the prices as I've been doing, and I hope you guys appreciate that. You'll have to let me know down below in the comments which one of these guys was your favorite. Something different on these shelves were these elves. Priced at $14.99, I thought they were a lot of fun. And uh, I want to note, a subscriber previously mentioned that they like that I go to some unique stores, and I also like that too. Um, I love Home Goods and Walmart and TJ Maxx and seeing what they have to offer for the holidays, but I also love seeing unique gift shops and garden centers and that type of thing because those are the places where you find some of the stuff you won't see anywhere else. And Country Junction is an example of that. Some of these lighting fixtures were really beautiful. In particular, I really liked the uh, trio of uh, trees. They were gold and white glitter. I thought they were really elegant and would look beautiful in a window or a fireplace. I also really enjoyed these guys and they were made out of tin. That's why I'm tapping on them. Santas were available in all shapes and sizes, and these two guys definitely caught my eye, especially the one with his hand raised holding the staff with the reindeer head on it. He was over $100, but he was very substantial and beautifully sculpted. If I had space for him and I was in the mood to buy some Christmas, I definitely would have considered this guy. If you are a fan of Christmas and the holidays, then seeing this, you probably would have to pick your jaw up off the floor. I was super impressed with everything that I saw here, from angels and nativities to snowmen and so many other themes. It was very overwhelming, and I think you guys, if you love the holidays as much as I do, you'll appreciate this video.
I love the pillow that says, all hearts come home for Christmas. That's so very true. As we get older, those times that we spend and make memories with our family and friends are so very important. Plus the spiritual aspect of the season, which is why I had to get so many of these beautiful nativities on film. I couldn't decide which one I liked more. All these pieces were priced at $19.99 each, and that's why I had to get them on film. They are absolutely beautiful. So many angels to choose from, and now back to the nativities. This set was also beautiful. If you do a lot of white and gold and cream colors, this might have been the set for you. Some of the larger angels were at the top shelf, and the one in the green with the reindeer is absolutely beautiful, very nicely detailed. And as we go down, the shelves have some smaller size pieces. Um, they were all beautiful, and I had to get them on film to share with my friends here. The angels in red that we see at the top there that has joy, this one, and then there's one on the shelf underneath it were beautiful, and I think they were like $14.99 a piece. I did consider picking up this one here with the tree. I thought she was really pretty, and she definitely has those perfect Christmas colors. They had a nice selection of ornaments. Many were priced at like $3, and I'm sure as they approach the holiday season, they'll get even more out, but this is a perfect place to start. I'm not sure if they did something for like Christmas in July, but if this is what they have already in the fall, I can only imagine what it's gonna look like in November and December. If you do a snowman theme, this section would be for you. There were so many to choose from. A lot of them were priced very reasonably. Um, some had the vintage flair, some of them were a little modern or country. I especially liked this tin here that says Happy Holidays. That had a vintage appeal to me and it would be fun to put like pine cones or something in it. Not me rearranging shelves, which I do a lot in the snowman section. I just want you guys to see some of my favorite pieces, and this is one of them. It did light up, and it reminded me of something my family had as a kid growing up. If I was in the mood to shop for Christmas this day, that would have been in my cart.
What are you guys thinking of the Christmas section so far? I'd love to know what your favorite piece or pieces were. Be sure to comment below. This one here was $14.99 and it reminded me of a ceramic piece that my Nana had growing up. Uh, there was another one like it, so I wanted to show it as well. These snowmen right here are something that I totally would have picked up. Um, they have that vintage appeal and they're that vintage style that has become so very popular over the past couple of years. There were a few of them scattered around and so again, here I am rearranging the shelves for you guys. Some of the larger pieces in this section were on the bottom shelf, and these two snowmen stood out to me and I thought you guys would like them. Um, I picked this guy up, I think he was $29.99 and he also lit up, so what's not to like about that? The snowmen we're about to see here were a lot of fun, those vibrant Christmas colors that we all know and love. I rearranged this area a little bit so you guys get a better close-up view of all of these. If you collect Jim Shore pieces, you would have loved this snowman and snow woman. They weren't actually Jim Shore, but they have that style and theme to them. That ornament was really cute. If I was in the mood again to buy Christmas stuff, these two would have been coming home with me. They were only priced at $9.99 each. Where are my Johanna Parker friends at? This little selection was really cute. I was super excited to find it and that's why it's here on film. Lots of nice little canisters, containers, um, soap pumps and that kind of stuff. This section we're going to see some signs. I especially enjoyed the one that says Snow What Fun. Those vibrant colors gave me that kitschy kind of vintage flair that I love so much.
This section is going to wrap up our Christmas and holiday tour at Country Junction. What did you guys think? Would you have picked up anything if you were me? If you haven't done so, be sure to comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell. And we're going to wrap it up here with Santa's rules. Be merry, deck the hall, spread the joy, and love one another.